Hi kids, I'm Storytime Pup, and welcome to the Storytime Pup Show. I'm so glad you came by to play. I love when my friends come by to play, and you're one of my friends. Are you ready to have fun? Let's see what we're going to do today. Magic Marker, show us what we're going to do today. Yay! It's storybook time! We love storybook time! Today, I'm going to be reading an adventure book. This book is A Pirate Adventure, written by Sharon Gibbs. Are you ready? Hold on, let's go! These boys three liked playing together, outside and inside, in all kinds of weather. The oldest was Jay, who was strong, brave, and sleek, with Malachi in the middle, who would be six in a week. The smallest was Liam, who was nearly four but filled with excitement and couldn't wait to explore. So these boys three decided to play and worked cutting boxes and modeling clay. They made swords out of cardboard and made them to match. On each boy's eye, they wore a fine patch. With a big, tall ship built out of blankets and chairs, they played all day as they slid down the long stairs. That's enough, Dad said. It's time for dinner. Jay said, who's going to be fastest? I bet I'm the winner. So with the hoys and a's, they sat down and ate. Until Dad said, come on, it's getting quite late. Okay, boys, pajamas, teeth cleaned in bed. So in the lead, Malachi led. As they snuggled down in their big bed for three, Jay winked at his brothers, and Liam giggled with glee. Dad sat down and read them a story of old. The tale that he told was not scary, but bold. It wasn't long before they all drifted to sleep and dreamed their adventures of sailing the deep. Malachi stood at the front of the ship, his cutlass in one hand, the other on his hip. Jay took to the wheel, and steered through the rough seas as Liam lowered the sails that blew in the breeze. Ahoy! Malachi called when he spotted the trees and balanced himself on the rail with his knees. The ship sailed forward up onto the beach and Liam stretched out as far as he could reach. With the rope in his hand, he swung it around through the air and letting it go, it flew goodness knows where. Liam jumped over the side, landing on his two feet, and he beamed with pride as he ate a sweet treat. While back on the ship, the other boys too packed food for their journey, and Jay played the kazoo. With their cutlass in hand and their bags on their backs, they head up the beach to follow some tracks. Into the jungle, these boys three did stalk. As they searched for adventure, they rarely did talk. Through a mass of vines, they climbed to the top of a hill. And as they looked down below, Liam said with a shrill, Look at them. They're so small. They look just like rag dolls. No, no, Liam, said Jay. They're big, hungry trolls. So these boys three ran fast. They sped down the steep hill. And hiding in the rocks, they worked out their drill. What do you think? Jay asked his brothers. I'm not really sure. Do you think there are others? Malachi looked at the mob, then said with a roar, Onward and fight! Is there anything more? These boys three raced forward with cutlass in hand. And they stared at the trolls who had dug into the sand. With hoots and hollers, the boys advanced on the pack, while the trolls stood together and planned their attack. They grunted and snorted, these creatures of old, and while they prepared, their king hid their gold. Jay yelled to his brothers, Are you boys up to the fight? You know we can only stay until morning's first light. As the boys ran forward with lightning speed, 
the trolls clotted each other as they took to the lead. Liam was ahead, leading his brothers, and when he turned back, he looked at the others. Wait, Liam said. We don't have to fight. Can't we dance, sing, and have a good night? The army of trolls looked at each other and shrugged their shoulders. They laughed at the brothers. Then, Malachi saw a light in Jay's eyes gleam. Why not? One troll said. It's only a dream. Then suddenly, from nowhere, balloons did appear. With music and dancing, the trolls they did cheer. The boys ate and they danced while the trolls did a jig. And their leader watched on as he scratched his fat pig. It's late, boys, Jay said. We will have to go. Malachi stopped in his conversation with Joe. I don't want to leave yet, Malachi said. But you know we have to go and get back to our bed. Saying goodbye with their cutlass in hand, these boys three packed up and headed back to the sand. Upon their ship, Jay took to the helm, and setting their course, they headed back to their realm. In the morning, they woke and looked at each other, and smiled the smile only known to these brothers. That was fun, said Liam. Yes, it was out of sight. Now where should we go on our adventures tonight? The end. Isn't it great? All the things that you can do in your dreams? Because it's all up to your imagination. I hope you enjoyed this book like I did. A big thank you to Sharon Gibbs for that great adventure book. You can read more about Sharon Gibbs and her books by looking in the description below. Wasn't that great? I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, click on the thumbs up button below. Moms, dads, and adults, please leave your and your children's comments below. This way we know what shows you like, so we can make more of them. There's one more thing that we always do at the end of every show. Magic glasses. Magic glasses lets me see some of my friends who came to play. Maybe I'll see you today. Magic glasses, that's the way. Show me my friends who came to play. Okay, now everyone smile and wave and let me see if I see you. Oh, there's my good buddy Nate. Oh, there's Sharon and Stephen. Oh, hi, Tyler. Oh, there's Harry and Christian and Brooke. Oh, hi, Demi and Marcus. There's Lorraine and Robert. Oh, hi, Stacy and Carolyn and Louie and Marie. I see a lot of my friends waving at me. Did I see you today? If not, maybe I'll see you next time. Make sure you check back soon, because we'll be adding a bunch of new shows every week. Make sure you have an adult. Click on the subscribe button right here. That way you won't miss any of the fun. Moms and dads, make sure you visit the Storytime Pup website to sign up for our great free giveaways. We have giveaways for books, CDs, DVDs, t-shirts, and other great stuff. Sign up just once and you'll have a chance for all the drawings to come. And kids, don't forget to tell your friends about Storytime Pup. And before I go, Here's a great big hug for all my friends. Thanks for stopping by to play. I'll see you real soon. Bye now. The fun's not over yet, kids. Click below for more fun videos. There's children's books, let's pretend, and games. And don't forget to subscribe by clicking right here.